How to move an object from one image to another in Photoshop. This tutorial will show you how to move an object from one image to another in Photoshop. This tutorial assumes you already have your image open in Photoshop. First, we will need to open the Channels palette from the Window menu. We need to find the channel that has the most contrast between the girl and the background. We'll try the red channel. Even though the red channel seems to have the most contrast, it's still not enough, so we will try changing the mode. Go to Image, Mode, and select another color mode. The black channel seems to have the most contrast. Now we need to create a separate channel to use for our selection. Go to Image, and select Calculations. Set the channel to black. Change the blending to Overlay. Set the result to New Channel. Click OK. Notice that our new channel, Alpha 1, has been created below the rest. Now, we need to adjust the levels of our Alpha 1 channel to get as much contrast as possible. Go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. We need to adjust the black, white, and gray levels as much as possible without losing the edges around the girl's arms and hair. Adjust the three sliders. Click OK. To get a better contrast on parts of the image without losing edges, we will use the Selection tool. Select the Rectangular Marquee tool. Click and drag around an edge that is close in shade to the background. Open the Levels box from the Image menu. Use the sliders to adjust the levels in the selected area. Click OK. Continue selecting edges that need more contrast and adjusting the levels. Now, we need to begin to paint the white areas in the center, such as the girl's face. Click the arrow to swap the colors so that black is the foreground color. Select the Brush Tool. Staying well away from the edges, paint black over as much of the girl as possible. Swap the colors again so white is in the foreground. Paint as much of the background white as possible. If needed, use the Marquee tools to select areas that need the contrast changed and adjust the levels. Notice that we now have a nice edge on her other arm. Swap the colors. Using the new edge we just created, paint the arm black. Some areas may be too difficult to create a good edge using the Levels box. These will need to be done by hand. Select the Zoom tool. Click and drag around an area to zoom to. Select the Brush tool. Carefully, paint around the edges of the head. Select the Zoom tool again. We will fit the image on the screen so we can see the entire picture. We will zoom in to finish the arm. Select the Brush tool. Again, carefully paint around the edges of the arm. Select the Zoom tool and fit the image to the screen. Open up the Levels box. Adjust the levels. Click OK. 
Select the brush tool. Set the foreground to white. Paint the dark areas on the background white. Open the Levels box one last time. We will adjust the black to define the lines around the hair a bit more. Click OK. Touch up any remaining gray areas of the background with white. Swap the colors and do the same with the black. Once the image is completely black and white, press Ctrl plus I to invert the mask. Hold down the Ctrl key and click the Alpha 1 menu. Note that all of the white areas have been selected. Select the CMYK channel. All of the channels will be selected except for Alpha 1. Now, we will feather our selection a bit so the edges aren't choppy. Go to Select, Refine Edge, Turn down the radius, Adjust the smoothness, Turn down Feather, Adjust Contract Expand. Depending on the size of your photo, the adjustments you need to make may be slightly different. Click OK. Press Ctrl plus C to copy the selection. We will now go to our second image. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the selection. Select the Move tool. Adjust the position of the layer to match the background. We will adjust the brightness and contrast of the pasted layer to better match the surroundings. Go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. Adjust the brightness. And now the contrast. Click OK. That's it! You now know how to move an object from one photo to another in Photoshop.